another reading vlog. Aren't we excited? Two months ago, maybe more than two months ago, who's honestly to say? At, at some point I picked up the Goldfinch and then I put it down. I was like 560 pages, so about 200 pages from finishing it. And I said, I don't want to finish it. Today, today the tides have changed. We are only 100 pages or less from finishing The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Strides have been made, progress is happening. You love to see it. I have some homework that needs to be done. No lie, I can't can't dispute those claims or those allegations made against me. However, I think the world would be better off knowing that I just finished The Goldfinch. So before I do anything that I need to do, I'm gonna finish The Goldfinch. But to be fair, I did do my laundry, or I am currently doing my laundry, so I think that counts for something. Roll that footage, that What's that commercial? That spicy baked bean footage? Uh, of me destroying and conquering the last hundred or sixty, however many pages. You know what, let's just look. We have 71 pages left. Let's do that. Let's give that 71 <laughs> Okay, finished The Goldfinch. Um, the ending makes me want to give it a 4 out of 5, and by the ending, I mean like literally like the last chapter. The last chapter is like a 4 out of 5. Um, like I said, it, it took me maybe like 4, somewhere in the, the range of 3 to 4 months to actually complete this book. You know, I read a majority of it, put it down for like 2, 3 months. And then I, I just finished the last 200 pages. Uh, I don't know. I, I am having a hard time giving this more than a 2.5 out of 5. Too long. Really long. Really boring. <laughs> there was, like, no plot. Like, I mean, there was a general plot. But it was very drawn out. And uh, there was a whole lot. It was like a character study about a character who I couldn't care that much about. Three three stars at most. Four stars if I'm considering just like the ending. Uh, 2.5 if I'm considering everything. Okay. So next I'm gonna read The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue just because I've had it for so long. Everyone likes this book, I think. Um, I do believe the main character is bisexual. I... I really don't know. It's been a while since I've heard the talk on this book. But I do think it got a sequel earlier this year. So, I'm just gonna read this. I foresee I will update you tomorrow morning on my progress because I don't want to film anymore. Greetings. It's been a day, a good day, a really nice day. Hello, Post Malone. So here's the update I promised. I'm about 63 pages in to The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. Um, I'd give a better synopsis, but I don't think I know yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll just pop in with a little editing me. I probably already did that. Um, but anyways, it's fun, you know? I'm a, I got 63 pages in last night, so I'm going to sit down and read. Even though I still have homework to do from yesterday that I didn't do. But I just kind of want to get into it. Usually it takes about 100 pages to get into a book, I feel like. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. But I think that's pretty much true. Once you get 100 pages, it's either smooth sailing or rough, rough riding. Hmm. We can catch up on thoughts and opinions in a bit. I'm going to read. I'm going to relax. <laughs>
it is so nice oh my god it's so nice out okay just quickly wanted to jump in and say i'm a little over halfway uh from the book now i woke up this morning did my homework which is like so nice i love waking up early and just doing my homework because otherwise i don't really get it done which i think you know you might have caught on to that <laughs> but anyways halfway through the book really enjoying it it's really fast paced it's really fun getting some spooky vibes they're about to go on some we're, we're on an adventure you know i was not sold on it being an adventure no one ever told me that but baby it's an adventure also i guess i never realized that this is set back in the day back when people had slaves actually back we're way back in the 1800s baby so that's interesting uh, it's not very fun it's not very fresh but it is very interesting um how the author encapsulates that time monty is a kind of hateable character i'm kind of digging uh, or anticipating rather his character arc i'm just waiting i'm like come on make me love you it's like he's got that like unrequited love thing going for him but he's kind of still too self-centered to win me over he's very self-centered um percy would die for percy love him i'm literally so blown away that <laughs> people thought epilepsy was like being possessed by the devil like that when i read that i was like what the fuck i was like y'all really believe that i'm like that is so crazy to think that people bought into that overall really enjoying the book very fun very fresh oh felicity love her love her what a queen what a woman what a medicine woman is that yeah a medicine woman sure that's not what i would call it <laughs> but here i am calling it that so felicity writes percy writes monty writes those are up in the air we aren't sure yet we'll update you on that i can't wait to come back from work that's where i'm going now i'm going to work y'all make me sick but i can't wait to come back from work and do my laundry and then read some more maybe i'll finish it tonight who knows i might just get a decent way through but either way i'm very excited loving it that's the update see you later So I finished it. I'm going to give it three stars. Um, Monty didn't ever have the... Or his name's Henry, but we call him Monty in this household. He didn't ever have the full character arc of being super selfish and self-centered and self-motivated. And, but I do think we got a better background and look into why that is. So I understand that. At least like why he's so quiet and not as vocal when he needs to be especially in defense of percy and we do also get to see percy's um perspective into that because like i said percy's black monty's white they, this is a time when slaves are a thing so that dichotomy between the two is very interesting very well done it was like i, I think it was actually really good uh, i got the feeling that i was supposed to have some deeper attachment to him and his story than i did because there was a part where I was like, oh, if I was more invested, I would have cried at this part. But since I, like, wasn't invested, I didn't cry. And I was like, yeah, whatever. That happened. Um, so it was a really good book. I definitely think you should read it if you want to. Like, don't put it at the top of your list. But if you need a read, if you have it on your shelf and you're like, I just want to read something, read it. If you go to the library, pick it up. Like, you won't lose anything by reading this book. But I don't know if you'll gain that much either it's just fun it's fresh easy simple cute fun cute predictable Sick. very fun oh. it's like a very fun adventure so i will give that book this that i will give this book that fun adventure we love it fun awesome um yeah solid three out of five stars i think sometimes people think like three out of five stars isn't a good rating they're like oh my god that's so low but three is like average middle like it's not like excellent it's good it's good it's just a good book like i won't unhaul this i'll keep this because it was good and fun and i'm like you know if someone's like hey i want a book treat i'll be like 
read this. This was fun. I liked it. Like, I did. I enjoyed myself. That's why I read it so quickly. It was enjoyable, easy to read. You know, three stars. Solid three stars. I stand by that. So, finished that. I filmed a plan with me, which I've been doing more. I don't know if people like them. My friend Alyssa likes them. My sister Aaliyah hates them. That's, you know, you can't win them all. Um, they're just, like, kind of fun to do. I like... I like seeing the outcome of what I plan. I don't know. Um, so those will just be uploaded on a consistent basis until I decide that I really don't like doing them. They're kind of hard to talk through. Like, I, I never know what to say, so it's kind of awkward. Um, so I filmed that. I do have class at 1.30, but before then, I would like to do the voiceover for the plan with me going up this Sunday, which is the one I filmed last week. Kind of confusing, but I'd like to do that because then when I get home... I am going to um, sit down and start my essay for a class. I think I'm going to just do the voiceover to get it out of the way while I'm feeling on top of things. And hopefully I still have time to come back on and like pick a book and do some reading before class. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I'll see you in the next clip. I got some corn. Um, that's probably like the most Nebraskan thing that... <laughs> I could do. I don't know, but I love corn. It's so good. I've read every book on the shelf now. Well, minus this one. I kind of just picked this up because it was like 50 cents and like for the jokes because I read um, after when it was on Wattpad being published like every week when she was doing that. So I don't know. The sentimental. I was like, ha, this is funny. It's not funny. It's huge and it takes up space. I have a signed copy. I'm gonna, let's look. I do have a signed copy. That's cool. So I think this will be my next read. It's cute. Aww. The aesthetic. So, uh, it's been two days since I verbally have updated you, but yesterday it started raining while I was in film class and we heard the rain on the roof and we were all like, <laughs> it, it was dramatic. We were all being very dramatic. It wasn't pouring, but it wasn't, dr it, it was a drizzle. It was a drizzle. I loved it. I was enjoying myself. My, my jaunt across campus was wet, but it was nice. It was peaceful and I couldn't stop smiling. Um, I don't think I've talked anything at all about the book I decided to pick up, which is A Very Large Expanse of Sea. Yesterday I was, uh, I got like 70 pages into this, uh, before I just fell asleep. So, let's quickly talk about what this book is about. It is about a Muslim girl, um, after 9-11 and kind of her, you know, her struggles especially a lot of her personal struggles with seeing the good in people and understanding that like I don't know people m perhaps do value her we get so her name is Shireen and her love interest his name is Ocean and like already that's like the best thing of my life he's interesting he's fun he's so sweet and precious this book is so sweet and precious um I've only got 65 <laughs> I've only got 65 pages left because I haven't been able to put it down because it's so good. Like, it's just so cute and so, like, gentle and sweet and kind. It's just so sweet. I love it. So, I have homework to do and I also need to finish editing um, the video I have going up on Sunday, which is just another plan with me. Um, but before I do either of those things, I would like to just... finish my book.
Okay, I've finished a very large expanse of the sea. I had myself, oh, whoa, I look a little bit bald. Okay, anyways, I had myself a good cry. This was so good. Um, right after I got done saying how like soft and pure it is, it, uh, you know, took a turn for the worst and the racism and xenophobia really jumped out of the, out of, it jumped out, okay? It was a lot, it was intense, and it was very impactful to see how it was handled and dealt with by the different characters. This is a good book. These characters are complex. I care about them deeply. Uh, I had a good sob at the end. It really got me. And I didn't, I didn't expect it to, but it did. Oh yeah, so let's look at all of my annotations. I don't know, I just love looking at them. Five out of five. This was a five star book. Yeah. Read it, go get it, read it. Period. End of discussion. Go get it. Now. Quickly. Hurry up. I'm gonna end this reading vlog here because I read three books. What more do you want from me? You want me to do my homework? Is that what you want? I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog. Uh, I like to do more reading vlogs. I've done them in the past. They're fun. They make me read more than I would. Like, I haven't read a book in months. And here we are finishing three books in the span of, like, a week. So congrats to me. Yeah, big congrats to me. Good job. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to go read this book. And then tell me how you felt about it. Um... Yeah, if you didn't like it, let me know so that we can arrange a time to fight. That would be preferable. If you did like it, we are in good company. Again, thank you. Goodbye.